Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Mi Snap Remote for Apple devices. This works with any Apple device that has a built in camera, and it sells for $39.99. So, as I see it, this little device serves really three purposes. Number one, it helps when taking the selfie. If you don't know what a selfie is, it's essentially a picture you take of yourself. Number two, it helps when taking group photographs that you want everyone to be included in. And finally, number three, it helps just to take better photographs because it allows you to steady your camera without having to hold it with a shaking hand. So essentially, this is an automatic or a remote control shutter for your Apple device. I already have it out of the box. It doesn't come with anything other than the remote. And uh, there is an app that you have to download to uh, get the remote to work. And you can see that there is a QR code on the back to download it. You're definitely gonna need that QR code. I simply, um, I don't have a QR reader on my phone and I couldn't find the app in the app store. So I searched, you know, me snap, I searched Parco lifestyle. I could not find the app. Eventually I had to download a QR code just to download this app. So um, definitely just get a QR reader and scan the app to get the, uh, the remote working. So once you have the app installed, I'm gonna bring my phone in here. Uh, let's see, it's called uh, Snap Remote. You can see it right there. And essentially it just looks like a camera app. So we'll bring it open and, and there it is. So essentially how this works is it's two pieces. You have a slide out kickstand, which is really optional. You don't have to use this. And then you place this on your phone um, really any way you want. And you can stand it up like so. So let's see, I wanna to try to do this in a good way so you guys can see like something to take a picture of. So let's see where, let's say we're going to take a picture of that uh, box. I'm trying to get this on camera and it's not really working out. So um, the remote has two purposes. It has two buttons, one up here, which flips the orientation of the camera around. So right now I'm using the camera on the back and I know that you really can't see anything through there. Let's see if I raise this up at a better angle. And it's not going to work anyway. Just a bad angle for the uh, the video camera. But there you go. You get a better idea. And then if you hit it again, it switches to the front-facing camera. So now you can see me through the lens. Um, only thing is, there's no like visual indicator on this as to which way you're facing. So if you're on the other side of the camera and you hit this, you might not know which way the camera's facing. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind when you go to set this up. Just remember where your lens is pointing and then just keep in mind as you press this. It does give you an audible beep so that you know you've switched orientations around. And then the only other button is the shutter, which is right here in the middle. You press it once, it takes a picture. It's pretty much instantaneous. There's about a one, less than one second delay. You can see when I take it, there's a little visual indicator there letting you know it's taken the picture and um, you're good to go. At that point, um, the photos are automatically saved to the camera roll. You can view them in the app itself, but you can't really do anything with them there. Uh, but it has a link that it will take you right to your camera roll where you can see the pictures that you shot. Um, from there, you can do whatever you want, whether it's share them or um, you know do anything you want with them. So um, that is the Mi Snap Remote. Uh, it sells for $39.99, and again, um, it comes in two pieces that go together. You can put this thing on your keychain, put it in your gear bag. It won't take any weight. It's nice and light. You can learn more about it via the link I'll put in the video description. Definitely hit the annotation link as well so you can check out my full review of this over on runaroundtech.com. If you have any questions about what you saw here today, definitely drop me a line down below. Otherwise, have a great day.